What's going on y'all? We have a filing cabinet lock that had to be replaced. Now this is the broken one, but I have put it in a housing. Had to switch this out for a customer. They came, got the keys cut by the code, called back so the keys didn't work. Weren't going all the way in. So we're gonna take a look and see. Now this is a four drawer Anderson Hickey filing cabinet. It is a very common lock that you see when you turn the key uh, basically it pops out if i can get this to pop out here now for some reason but um, when you turn the key it retracts this mechanism this is what it's in this is the clip that holds it into the filing cabinet from behind and when the lock pops out this is not quite the right plate for it but there is a very similar plate it basically goes up in to the back of the lock that we'll look at in just a second and is attached to the inside of the cabinet just like this. When you push the lock in, it raises this part up which lifts a bar inside the filing cabinet. And then when it pops out, this drops down, swiveling on this little, this little snap in, kind of a rivet nut that just snaps in. So once this pops out, this goes forward and this drops down, which allows the bar to fall. So typically when you have something jammed in there, this is actually a very common situation, whether it's somebody has tried to like pick it with a paper clip or no telling what it is. Typically you do have to drill to get this out. Luckily I was able to pick the lock to get it out. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Um, this is a CO106 Corbin key that is five depths, five, I'm sorry, five cuts. And again, usually when there's uh, uh, some type of whatever in the keyway, you're not able to pick it if it's interfering with the wafers. Now I took a or the pins, I'm sorry. And I took, while I was on site, I took a, uh, a key, a broken key removal and tried scraping whatever was in there out, but it wouldn't, nothing would come out. I couldn't feel anything. So normally the lock comes to right about there. And this is fully dropped down, which lets that bar drop down. If you pop this nut off, once you open the cabinet and pop this nut out and take this out, you can remove it the rest of the way and it's got a spring back there and we pull it out the rest of the way. We see this spring and this back. Now there are several variations of this. This is just the Anderson Hickey version. Some of these bolts are square or rectangular. Some of them have a screw here, but basically, like I was saying, this goes up into this area and kind of hooks behind that roll pin right there. Um, so really what I'm doing in this video is we're gonna look and see what's in that cylinder. Like I said, I've tried running something down the keyway to get whatever debris is in there out. However, they had pushed and pushed and pushed on this. So it is firmly, whatever's in there is firmly wedged in the back of the cylinder now normally you would just take you can take this cap what we're going to do is we're going to take this cap off however these from the factory are sealed really tight so i'm actually just going to take a hacksaw and hack across this top of this so that i can pry it open so i'm going to go just put it in a vise put a little cut into it and then we're going to pry it open on camera to see what's going on in there so i'll oh, be right back half a second with a hacksaw and you see i just put a little thing in there so that we can come in here and just pry this cap out of the way and dump the pins out. So as we can see, and I assume this, I've never, I can't, I don't, can't remember if I've taken one of these apart, but typically the core is held in with a pin drop down in the back. And as we can see, we have four springs and another a fifth chamber hole I did mention this was a five pin lock, however. Hey. Hi, I have a crazy request. All right, sorry about that. We're getting 
neighbors getting ready for the flood of the hurricane. So where were we? We were about to dump out the four chambers with the pins and the springs. Come on out. Come on out. I think we have just a little little bit of debris blocking the plug chamber here. There we go. All right, and this pen you can see is much longer, so it was definitely just dropped down in there, holding the plug in and the plug, you're like, well, how come the plug's not coming out? It's actually being held in with pressure from this that we will see, we squeeze this, we can drop the plug out. And there's the groove, so it's definitely a four pin, it's not a five pin, they fooled us, fooled you, fooled you, four pin lock. And we can see once we get this out, it's held in, it's got a spring and what happens is when you turn the key, the back of the plug pulls it up and down or pulls it down and when you let the key go it does that so the point of the video is see what's going on in here let's see if we can zoom in real close can we see anything let's see if, let me zoom in the camera just a bit so we will figure out what is holding us up what is that Show my camera. Oh, zoom, focus. Okay, there we go. Let's check the key. Key is still not going in. Let me get a little pokey tool over here. Oh, here we go. Here's a. Here's a a fabricated shim of some kind. Let's just push down in here and see if something's blocked. There it is. What is that? What is that? Come on out of there. There's definitely something right there, I think, that is. Ow, that wasn't strong enough. So if we put the key in, we can see it's stopping right there on that. Let me go grab a little bit stiffer thing here. Okay, maybe this will work. Let's, uh, it goes in there. There's definitely something right there. Nope, oh, there it goes. What is that? That looks like a... What the heck is that? Focus! That's our problem. Oh, hey! Look at you! Look at you, little guy. Hey, that was it! So, thanks to this little guy right there, we now have the known problem it is not a paper clip it is just a little piece of metal that's weird focus focus it is just a little lump of just a little lump of metal that made us a hundred dollars thank you what is that out of what the heck Um, so one of the common things that one of the common bypasses for these was uh, to be able to say take your where's this uh, that's not long enough um, it was called the knife attack and basically you would run it through to the back of the cylinder and pull down so that's one of the ways that you're able to get into some locks however this one uh, they either, at some point in time, realized that was a issue. So they would 
close up the back of the lock. Again, all we have to do is just pull that down. But you do have to be able to get through the back of the keyway and on them. Uh, we saw there that it had just a little bitty tiny hole. So if we try to reach down in here, there's not, there's just not a whole lot of room, even though there is a hole in the back of it. So like that, even though that's there, that doesn't necessarily mean you can get to the back of the plug there or get to this part. So sometimes it's possible, sometimes it's not. Uh, they would be best off, you know, after a certain amount of time, they probably close that up. But if that was open anymore, it may be able to be done. But come down to it, this is our problem. So there we go. One plug down or one lock down and uh, figured out what the problem is. I was fully expecting it to be a paper clip or a staple or something, but it is... I don't know where it's from because if you look down the length of this, there's no broken parts. The warding is fine all the way down. This, I've seen this on other plugs, so it's not actually, you might be thinking it's from that, but that's not actually, that wouldn't even, wouldn't even been there. So no telling what that little part is, but it's out and uh, we're dead now. So we're gonna go throw this out. So I guess that answered our question on to uh, what, uh, what was holding our key up. And uh, again, uh, it can always be a paper clip, it can be a staple, it can be any number of things that are stuck in filing cabinet locks. It's a very common problem. Luckily, I was able to get it out without having to drill on site. So if you have any questions or comments on that or any other filing cabinet type block stuff, as always, post it in the comments. Until next video, we'll see you next video. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha.